so I can send you the recording. Okay, so so you know once you go to your menu, you go to tools, and you go to mobile websites. There you're going to find your two template mobile websites. Now these are your mobile websites, okay, for your business, and so you can change them however you want to. In fact, you can once you have like we create the 400 franchises underneath you guys. You guys can, um, you'll be able to see those first of all by clicking over here in my accounts. Okay. And then, and then any of those 400 franchises will be underneath here, so you'll be able sure. to like go go in and look at their, you know, their accounts or whatever. It's called clients, but you'll think of them as franchises, right? Right. Yep, makes sense. They will have their own mobile website as well. Now you can create these the way that you want them to. As a master, you can go in here and click on edit. And we'll show you, we'll spend more time later talking about how you can modify this, any of these pages the way you want to, add pages, that kind of stuff. I'm not going to go into great detail about that in this call. Um, there's tutorials on how to do it and stuff like that, but I'll show you a little bit. But just for a, for instance, let's say that we wanted to update the information on the home page, like we wanted to change out, you know, the words of what it says or whatever. We would just click on the home page there, and we would go down and... Uh, we go down and click, you know, somewhere in here, and, you know, we go after that, and we could type some information in. Don't even have to spell it right, because we can go back and fix it. <laughs> and then, you know, we can highlight the information, you know, that we put in here, the additional information. We can bold it. We can, you know, bullet it. We can adjust the sizes of it, whatever we want to do. And then if we hit save, it'll go live on the page, right? Or we can delete the information. We could delete that video and add a video. We could add a different image if we wanted to. So any of the pages, it's really easy to edit, right? So let's go and take a look at one more page, and we'll look at how to edit that one. You'll still, you'll get a good feeling for how it's, how it's done already. And it's, I mean, it's just, you know, it's easy. So you create, you know, your own, um, all this information the way that you want it. Right, so you could put in your business hours here. If I put in, you know, nine to five, Monday, you know, through Friday, and I go in here and put in, you know, I can switch the address to what I want it to. I put in, you know, my the email address that I want for you guys, which is info at, you know, whatever it is. I'm just putting stuff down, right? And you know, I can put in. Uh, an email address here, and if I do, it creates a contact form already on the page. And I'll show that to you real quick. And when somebody fills out the contact information, it goes to that, it goes to that you are that uh, email address. So here you can see I put in the business hours, right? Yep. And it created a little business hours section. I put in an email uh, address and put that, and I put an email address in the send the form to spot here, and then it created a contact page. And okay. if somebody filled out this contact page it would send that information to this email address, right? Right. And I could always, you know, download uh, the data in a CSV if I had a whole bunch of people contact us at once, I wanted to look at all of them or whatever. But, so that's just two examples. I'm not gonna go into any more detail about how to modify the mobile websites at this point. I'm gonna go in and talk about some other things. My main point in this discussion is to tell you, these are your two mobile sites. You guys can change the videos, change the pages, add pages add information and I would recommend doing so because if you look at some of the pages they're they don't have a ton of information and they don't have not that you need a ton of information because it's a quick brochure but you know they have simple pictures I don't know you know it's up to you guys of what you want right but For this sure. is but this is what your salespeople and your franchisees will be handing to um, you know their their potential clients and their potential uh, you know, fran new fr new franchisees. So now you've let's say you, you've got these two banged out, and they're exactly what you want, right? Then you can, when you add a franchisee, you can clone the one that you made into their site, and then just change the contact page to their information, and boom, your franchisee has the mobile website that you want them to have. Got it? Yep. So once you have created the one that you want, and you guys have used it and like it. Then you can clone that for your other franchisees. Okay, now let's let's watch this. The real important step. We're going to, uh, John, and if you could document any of this, maybe it's kind of step by step. So for boarding, we're getting it the same. 
you know, at the beginning of this, we stressed just that how they can modify their own sites and get them the way they want, and then they can translate those for their franchisees. Now, uh, kind of step two is I'm going to go in and copy both these URLs. So I'm going to click on the URL button, and I'm going to save these URLs. So I copied this one, and now I'm just going to maybe drop it into an email uh, or, you know, a... Um, you know, a notepad or something just where I can save these too, because this one is franchise sales website. Okay. And then the other one, and I need these two URLs and I'll show you why in just a second. So then I'm going to click on the other one and this is the one that is for cleaning services. So I'm going to copy this URL. I'm going to go back to my notepad or whatever. And this one is, uh, you know, service or whatever for, okay. You know, this mobile website is for, um, you know, if I click on it, let's see, where's it at? If I click right there, it says edit, I click on that one. This is the mobile site that is specifically for, you know, showing somebody that, that owns a building or that has whatever, right? And then um, I can tell them, send this one to them, and I can say click on hotels and resorts because you own a hotel, right? And then they, so this one is more for selling the service. And so you guys can obviously, it doesn't even have a contact page yet. You could add a contact page, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so I've saved the two URLs. My next step is to go in and take a quick look at uh, virtual business cards. So we're going to hit our menu again. We're going to go down to V cards, and we're going to go to my V cards. Now I'm going to create new. I'm going to show you how to do this with one person and you'll get it, and then you can create them for any of your franchise salespeople, for any of your service salespeople, for all of your field reps, for all your ops people. You want them to have a virtual business card, okay? So we are going to put in, let's do John's information here, and I've got it right here, so it should be pretty easy. John, oops, I just, I'm going to put it over here off the screen so I can actually see it. So you just name the card, usually I just name it, you know, the name of the person. And then the company name. And then the phone number, which, depending on which phone number he wants to give out to people, is the phone number that you uh, would put there. And then his email address, which is... And then the website, is it with a dash? I don't think it is, is it? No, no dash. Oh, and what's your, you, you guys may have your own website. What's your regular website? We, we, we don't. We just run off of corporate. Okay. All right. I, I think it's backslash Milwaukee, but that's, that's fine. Okay. All right, so I just put in the basic information and hit update card, okay? Once I do, it's going to take a minute. It's going to create it and save it. But then I'm going to go in and just add just a little bit more information. I'll show you that real fast. Okay. Okay, it's saved. What it usually does is pop up a second um, box here. But if it doesn't, all you do is click Edit on it. And then you get that the second box, which is the preview card. And you okay. just, open it, just open it up by clicking that. And this is what the virtual business card is going to look like. But there's one more thing that we've got to do to it. You can see when someone's using their virtual business card, the first thing says our franchise opportunity. And so um, we're going to put, we want to send somebody the URL that links to the franchise, right? Our franchise mobile website. The second um, form, if somebody types their mobile number in here, they're, you're talking to them about cleaning services because this is for people that own a building, like a, you know, a facility, right? Right. And so I want to send them the mobile website that talks about our cleaning services, not a franchise opportunity, right? right? So now let me flip this card over and let's get the correct uh, URLs in there. So I flip this over. Here's the logo that will be at the top of the page, and here's the app icon. We don't need to change any of that. That's in there by default. But here where it says product links, it says Form 1. Okay, Form 1 was, if you remember, if we click on the other side, Form 1 – Franchise opportunity. So here, I want to put our franchise URL in there. So here's my franchise sales URL. Yep. 
So I want to copy that one. And you see everybody has to do this manually because you're going to have your own, this is your own. Right, it's customized. I get it. It's customized, exactly. Now, um, I'm going to put the other URL for service in that second one. And now the only thing left to do would be, okay, so if somebody types their mobile number into John's phone to get his virtual business card, okay. when uh, they type his mobile number in and hit submit, they get a text message with all his information. But he can get a text message on his phone with their mobile phone number instantly nice. if, he puts, if he puts his mobile phone number right in there, okay. right? Mm -hmm. So this would be if you want to receive a text message with their mobile phone number at the exact same time that they get a text message with your information. It's an easy, then you can just copy the mobile phone number, save it into your contacts, put their name in it, and it's easy to you know, do that. Or you can have it sent to your email. Most people just go ahead and put their mobile number in here, and so I'll just drop John's mobile phone number in here just for the example, and you can always go back in and change it, okay? Sure. So John's mobile number is 262-389-4600. Okay, and the other thing is just a link button. If you put, if you, if there's anything that your sales reps or your franchise salespeople or ops people that they like look at frequently, mm -hmm. you could, you know, you could put that URL right here. And let's just say they always are going to the home site or they're always going to some page to log into or whatever. You can put the link right there, and it'll be at the bottom of the virtual business card. Just a quick link. Maybe it's okay. a video. Maybe it's a video that they often will show people right on their own phone. Maybe it's something that they always show on their own phone. This would be, you know, where you would put that link. It might be the regular website. You might put the link to, you know, your franchise sales website because that's one that they frequently show people. You know, whatever you want to, whatever you want to do. Okay, so now I hit save. Okay. When I do that, it's going to update it, and I'm done. So now. I have created John's virtual business card. The only thing I would do at this point is go here and copy that link. And I would send this to John's phone. And John would then open up this URL on his own phone and he would save the app icon to his home screen. Now that can be accomplished in one of two ways. Let me see, am I logged into my account or not? Let me log into my YouTube account real quick. And now I am, and I'll show you real quick, hopefully real quick, it'll take me just a minute to find it. Okay, okay here is on an iPhone. So once he gets the link, oh, can you guys hear that? No. It's only in my head. You yeah. guys can't hear it. I can't, no. <laughs> I can't tell what you're saying. It's so loud in my head. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, you can't hear it? Okay. I mean, so, I can always go myself. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, it's real easy. You just, on an iPhone, you just hit the square button in the middle. Once you're on that page, then you hit the add to home screen button. Okay. And then you and then you hit add. Right there, you hit add. And then it and then it drops the app icon right on the home screen. And now anytime they want it, they just click it and there and there it is, right? On an Android, it's basically the same thing. As long as they're opening it up in Chrome, so if they open the URL up on Chrome on their Android device, yeah. It's it's extremely simple. They just click the menu in the top right and hit add to home screen and it adds the app icon right to their home screen. So Okay. So now he's got the app on his home screen. Now he, you know, runs into somebody or is talking to somebody and says, "Hey, let me give you my card." And they say, "Okay." And then he sends that information right to their phone. And they get it on their phone. They're like, "Man, that's really cool." And then he says, "Yeah, go ahead and click the link right there." And they click the link in the text message, and now they're looking at your mobile site. And now, you know, even your field ops people or your, you know, whoever, they can show a really, uh, they, can, they establish instant credibility. They, 
you know, they show to that potential client or potential franchisee that you guys are a legitimate enterprise level company, not, um, you know, you know, a lot of times the problem with even salespeople, you know, even good salespeople, they're calling on a business and, you know, they have trouble getting through to that decision maker. And when they finally do get a hold of him, he's blowing them off immediately. No, we got it covered. We're good. And because he doesn't honestly know if the guy that he's talking to on the phone, the salesperson, is working out of the back of his truck and couldn't handle his facility because he's got a massive facility, right? But once he gives him the card, he's really showing, hey, we're a big legitimate company here. We can handle your business. And now he's got a little bit of credibility, plus he just captured that person's mobile phone number. Now when he follows up with them in six weeks, he's going to follow up with them um, you know, directly to his mobile phone, and now we're going to have a better chance of closing business. Does that all make sense? Yep, absolutely. Okay. So now we've got one. We, If we ever want to modify it, we just click edit. If we ever lose an employee, we just click delete. If we, when we're ready to add a new one, we just add a new one, and we're ready to go. Okay? All right. Now, the third thing I'm going to show you here, um, hold on real quick. Okay. Maybe. I'm working from my home office today because my daughter's on spring break, and so she's, you know, she's eight, and she's in here. Just, so she's in here wanting, wanting to talk to me about going outside and playing, and I'm like, no, not, not right now. Okay. <laughs> so, no worries. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So we got all. You got all this. You got any questions on this? No, it's pretty straightforward. Yep. All right. Great. So now we're going to go and look at doing one other thing. This is slightly more complicated, but this is going to be for the creation of a database for whichever group that you want. Let's say that John wants to create, first of all, I know he wants to create a database of all franchisees, okay? Right. But he may also want to create a database of all of his personal employees, right? Okay. He may want to create a database of um, just uh, salespeople or just field ops people or just, you know, whatever. So what you're going to do here is you're going to go to menu again and you're going to go to marketing platform. Okay. And marketing platform is big and has a lot of stuff in it. But okay. really the only ones that you need to do here are go to campaigns and go to keyword. And John, if you're keeping track of this, you know, you would just make a note, hey, now we're going to show them how to create groups for different people, right? So here I'm going to go to keyword and I'm going to hit create. And when I hit create, I'm just going to say this is for my franchisees database. Okay, that's what I'm going to name it. And now the keyword can be absolutely anything. So it could be, um, you know, mill franchisees, right? It's for Milwaukee franchisees. And now I say, you know, whatever I want to say in this message. This is the response they're going to get back. So, Jana King, welcome to our mobile alerts database, or whatever you want to call it. Watch for updates on new info and more. Up to eight per month. Reply help for help or stop to cancel. So this uh, is basically the way to be compliant with it. When you send oh, a message sure. to when you send a message to somebody the first time, it's always good to tell them what's going to happen. You're going to watch for updates. You're going to get up to eight per month. You can reply help for help or stop to cancel. And now okay. that that's that's the most compliant way to say it to anybody that you're going to send future messages to. Um, so now that's it really. We could put, if we needed more information, we could put it here. We could say, for instance, we could say, you know, to read more, inf more information about our upcoming event in, you know, Cincinnati or whatever the, you know, wherever the event is, click here. And then we could drop the URL of the mobile site that we built, because we could build a separate mobile site just for all the 
event information for Cincinnati, for instance, right? Okay. Or we could say, you know, watch this quick training video and fill out the form to show you completed it. And then you drop a link to a mobile site that you built that's got the video on it and then a survey after that because you can build your own surveys on those mobile sites, right? And okay. then you can and then you can see who actually watched the training video because they filled out the, the sheet. And if they didn't, you can call them and go, dude, what's the deal, right? But you can still see, if they don't fill out the, the form, you can still see that they watched it? No, not necessarily. I was just curious. Okay. Yeah, no. So, so anyway, I'm just kind of showing you can put whatever you want in that second message, right? Okay. So now we go down and hit save. Now our keyword is mill franchisees, okay? So watch okay. what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to hit save. And now I'm going to go from back to my menu. And by the way, someone could, you could put in an email or something, text the word mill franchisees to the phone number 21777. And if somebody hit new text message on their phone, typed in 21777, and then put in the, the word mill franchisees just like that, the, the capitals don't matter, but all together, right? They would get back this response and they would go in that database, the one that we just created. But I'm going to show you an easier, I'm going to show you an easier way to get them in the database, okay? okay. So mill franchisees is our keyword. The short code is 2177. I'm going to hit my menu. I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to go to kiosk creator. I'm going to hit create. Kiosk creator is just franchisees. And my keyword was mill franchisees and my short code is 2177 and I hit save and now I just can make this page look however I want to and this is a page where all they do is type their mobile number in to go into the database okay so I can upload my logo which I don't have a Jana King logo on my computer and I won't bother wasting time to grab one but all I would do is hit upload logo grab the picture whatever Here's my sample yeah. picture, right? And then it would put that picture at the top of the page. So I'd put the Jana King logo on it or whatever. Now I go down here and it says enter offer text here. So I would say um, type your mobile number in below and hit submit to get, you know, whatever. And then I can change the size of it. I can do whatever. I can bold it if I want to. And then this is this is just the preview. This is what it looks like, right? So there's the logo. That's whatever you told them to do. Okay, now we save it. And once it's saved, then all I do is grab this link. And now I can send an email out to everybody. Or I can stand there at my conference. And as everybody walks in the door, I have this tablet standing at the door at the registration table or at the door, and everybody that walks by, I say, type your mobile number in right here. And when they type their mobile number in right there, they instantly go in the database and get that text message back that I had. Or, or let's say you send an email out to all of them, and you say, this is mandatory. Everybody needs to go to this URL and type their mobile number in. And then everybody clicks that link, goes to this page, types their mobile number in, hit submit, and then you can look and see who did and didn't do it, right, by their mobile numbers and see who's in the database, right? Okay. So that's one way to do it. Okay, so let's talk about a couple other quick scenarios. Let's say that I'm going to oh, – oh, by the way, so kind of backtracking here, if I want to create a database for my employees, what do I do? I go back and go through those steps again. I go to the marketing platform, create a keyword for just employees, and then create – a kiosk or a tablet landing page um, for them to be able to just type their mobile number in and go into the database and then I make everybody do it right okay. and now you've got you now you've got that database all right let's talk about one other quick scenario let's say we're going to a trade show or an event where there's gonna be lots of owners of different kinds of companies well what I would do is instead of handing out a bunch of flyers and a bunch of paper to all these people yeah. I would I would create a keyword. Well, first of all, I'd do it in these steps. I'd go to 
and create a mobile website specifically for that event that has all the information that I want to hand these people based on who I'm going to see. So I'd go to tools, create my mobile website with videos on it and whatever. Then I would go to marketing platform and I would create a keyword that said, uh, hey, you know, thanks for stopping by our booth or whatever. Here's uh, the information to take home and watch this, these videos later about us. We'll call you later. And then I would go to the kiosk creator and I would create the tablet landing page that said type your mobile number in here to, you know, to get the information to take home with you and you'll be entered for a chance to win, you know, the uh, free vacuum cleaner or whatever you guys are giving away, right? Sure. Now, everybody that walks by the booth, you say, here, just type your mobile number in. We didn't want to give you more paper to carry around, and we're an environmentally friendly company, so we actually just send the information right to your phone, and then you can, you know, you'll get a text message. You can take it home later and watch it whenever you want to. Watch the videos and, and learn about our company. So everybody types their mobile number in. Well, at the end of the day, you've got 200 phone numbers of business owners that are potentially interested in buying a franchise or that are potentially interested in getting their company serviced, right? Right. And you can actually follow up with those mobile phone numbers by phone and say, hey, you know, you came by our booth last week. You know, what do you think about, you know, so great, great tool for generating leads and capturing information um, and then being able to follow up with those people later on. That all makes sense? Yep, it does. So, John, if you're taking notes here, um, you want to make a note that I spent some time talking about, you know, what if you go to a trade show or what if you go to an event? How, what are the steps that you would follow to be able to capture specific information about those people? And the cool part about this is uh, that, you know, once, you know, Christy, once you, if you go to an event and you create a separate keyword for it, yeah. then, then you've got a database of just those people from that event, right? right? And then I see how you have those opt in and opt out. That's kind of nice too. Yeah, like, absolutely, absolutely. But, so now let's say I want to send a message out to somebody that was in one of those groups, right? I could just go over here to campaigns, and I could go to blast, and I could send out a message. I just create a message. Say I want to send something to my franchisees, right? Right. So that that I've got a conference call. So. Yeah. You know, I just type in, the campaign name doesn't even really matter. That's just so you can track it. I might put the date on it or whatever. And then I say, hey, everyone, you know, we have a call starting in 15 minutes. And then you put the phone number down, right? Here's the call-in number that they call into. Code, you know, 4515, right? Yep. Click here for the agenda. And then you put the link you're right, because you built a mobile website with the agenda on it, which took two minutes, and right. then you, pay, you paste that link right in there. In fact, if you use this spot right here and click short URL, you can paste the full URL in there and hit shorten and insert, and it'll drop a short URL in there for you so it doesn't take up as much room in your text. Right? right? Yep. So that's if you're sending to your franchisees. Let's say that you're sending to um, people that were just at your event this weekend. Well... Then you would, um, you know, say, so this is people, I went to a, like a franchise sales event. And so I put in franchise sales event follow up. And here I could say, you know, uh, thanks for stopping by our booth. Actually, you always want to identify your company first. So don't let me forget to tell you that. Thanks for stopping by our booth, you know. Here is one last, you know, piece of info to share. You know, click here to watch it or whatever. And then you can put the link to the video or you can put, hey, we'd like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. And then you send them a link that takes them to a mobile site or you've got a, a, a questionnaire with five questions on it, right? right? And whatever i mean whatever you guys can be creative with it you guys know your business model i don't i'm just trying to show you some of the things that you could do to send to those different groups because we know who was at our franchise sales event right we know who was at our cert, you know et cetera, et cetera. so we know who to send those groups so now i've created the message what do i do i hit save and schedule and then i go and pick when do i want to deliver it right now or do i want to deliver it which i would just check that box 
or do I want to deliver it on Friday at 1.16 p.m. Central Time, right? Okay. And then I pick which group do I want to send it to. So that's why naming the groups, you know, uh, the, or this one's showing, like, you know, the keyword. Here's my available groups. So I would select Milwaukee franchisees because those are my Milwaukee franchisees, right? If that's how I'm sending that to. And then I hit uh, launch. And when I hit launch, it's going to send it at that time. So it's it's really simple to be able to create that. If you want to look at reports, reports are right there. Um, if you need, uh, let me think if there's anything else because I had some notes on it, but they're not in front of me. So I've covered V cards, mobile sites. You can, um, if you need more help on how to do those mobile sites or editing those, the different page types, we can give you help. But there are tutorial videos in here. So if you click on menu, tutorial videos, tools, there's tutorials on that you just click on it and you can watch a video on how to modify your mobile website. Okay? Got it. Um, we covered that. We covered V cards. We covered the marketing platform, sending messages, creating different databases. Um, the last thing that I was thinking of is let's say that you guys have some other website property. Some people spend a lot of money building a landing page somewhere where like for instance, we use Unbounce. Unbounce is a landing page builder that we drive traffic to pages, and that traffic to those pages, um, you know, has re has registration. So it's like they can. Uh, we'll take a look at this one real quick. So you might have pages out there in the world where you're driving traffic to that page. And when people show up at that page, they might type their mobile number in to get a video sent right to their phone. Or they might fill out a form to get more information from your sales team, right, or to get more information. When they do, if they type their mobile number in there and hit the button, they can get an instant text message right to their phone with additional information and opt into a database so you can follow up with them later. That requires a small API call that we could provide the API to your web developer or whatever so that they could make it where somebody types their mobile number in there and hits the button and instantly gets a text message. So I just wanted to throw in that, that last part that that is a possibility. If you're doing anything with, you know, real website landing pages or something like that, you know, registration for an event, registration for a webinar, anything like that, you might have a mobile phone number field and you might not want to just capture their emails and databases, but you might want to capture their mobile phone number as well in the databases. Okay. Um, we also have an email side of the platform which is available to you guys. The email side of the platform, if you want it, I don't know who you guys use currently to send emails out to your franchisees and potential clients. Do you know off the top of your head who you guys use? Um, I mean, we have we have uh, Outlook 360. I don't know if that's all I know. I mean, like yeah, machine. I'm more like thinking like to do your group emails, like when you send an email out to 400 people, you know, or we don't. You don't. We you don't. don't have anything. Okay. No. If you want, if you wanted something, you know, um, we've got a, a system where you can create templates. Um, I'll get back out of here. John, you want to put this down as the last thing to mention this. that there's an email that we can add an email side of the platform which allows you to here let me hit create new email right here which allows you to you know create um, different templates oops I gotta name it so we'll call this and where you can really send out news more newsletter looking things instead of just emails right so let's say that I want to this two column design right here. So with this design, I could put, you know, a Jana King image on here, a title, copy, other titles and copy. And when people, when you send out the email, it looks a lot nicer, right? So if I'm sending to databases of potential clients, 
then I want to use an email system like this. If I'm sending to, even sometimes, my 400 franchisees, I'm sending emails to them, I might want to do them newsletter style, right? And yeah. we, have an e we have an email system that you guys can use. You would need to contact us to enable it for you to be able to use it. But it's going to be, it's going to be, you know, if you're using Constant Contact, you know, Exact Target, any of those, it'll be the same price or cheaper, but it'll be in the same platform as your mobile marketing platform. So you can just click on email and, and do it right from one platform without having to pay two separate people, without having to do two separate things, right? Got it. So that's there for you. If you guys want that, know that that's there for you. All right, what questions? I don't have any. It was pretty straightforward. <laughs> It'll take me just having to go through it myself to to fully have a, you know, like just to go through it one more time. But this 